I'm excited for the next listen. He's going he's gonna to power talk this because we're getting into nugget mode now because we're about to learn from you guys. Like we're about to learn from you, but I want to start with the health. So Gary, in the next 20, 25 minutes, is going to help you understand what 10X healthing, what 10Xing your health looks like. And then we're going to take some questions for him. So guys, would y'all give some energy to Mr. Gary? Yeah, what's up? All right, is, is this thing on? Can you hear me back there? Testing one, two, three. Hello, guys. I know a lot of faces in this room, so um, I'll try not to keep my, my talk redundant for those of you guys that have heard me speak before, that know me. Uh, but my name is Gary Breck. I'm a human biologist and a researcher. Um, I started a, uh, a wellness firm about seven years ago after leaving the mortality space uh, working for the insurance companies. Uh, so for 20 years, I was a researcher in the mortality space. Uh, when I retired, I was one of the, uh, the only five certified expert witnesses in federal court for litigation related to predicting mortality. Because the team that I was on could take five years of medical records on you and five years of demographic data, and we could tell the insurance company how long you had to live to the month. And it didn't matter if you were 25 years old and perfectly healthy or if you were 82 years old and terminally ill. The question that the insurance company or the annuity company or the reverse mortgage company wanted to know exactly how many more months does this person have left on earth. And it could be done on every single person in this room. The sad thing about that industry was that I was not allowed to have any contact with the patient or any contact with the treating physician. So even if I saw life-threatening drug interactions, I could not warn the patient. So for years, I felt like I was sitting behind a thick glass wall just watching blind people walk into traffic. So when I came to the realization there were human beings on the other side of these spreadsheets, I made a conscious decision to leave um, and move into the wellness space so I could really touch the face of humanity and help people live healthier, happier, longer lives. So that's why I'm here. Um, I met Grant Cardone um, through an investor friend of his um, about four years ago. Um, and I had a very interesting conversation with him, the very first conversation, much like the conversation that Jared had, actually. Um, and um, so a friend of his was making an investment in the fund. He said, hey, if I put the money into your real estate fund, I want you to get this test done um, by this guy, Gary. And I think Grant reluctantly agreed to get this test done. Um, and when his results came back, you know, he called the office. Um, and they patched, him, they patched him back to me. And I answered the phone. He said, hey, Gary, this is Grant Cardone. I said, hey, Mr. Cardone, how are you? And he said, listen, man, I don't even know what you do. Um, but before you start, I should just tell you, I got doctors hanging on trees, and I got personal trainers coming out of my ass. Um, he goes, I got about 10 minutes, man. Why don't you give me your spiel? Um, and in the back of my mind, I was like, well, wasn't that rude. Uh, <laughs> but I said, I said, why don't we start by you telling me how you feel? And he said, man, I feel great. I'm running around the world. I'm building my empire. I feel great. I said, do you mind if I tell you what I see in this test? And he said, no. Uh, go right ahead. And I said, well, I see a man that goes to bed exhausted. But his mind keeps him up until the wee hours of the morning so that by the time you wake up in the morning, you're more exhausted than when you went to bed. And I can see that you wake up a little sore and achy in the morning like you had a workout the night before when you had them. And I bet it really bothers you that the soles of your feet and your ankles hurt when you get out of bed first thing in the morning to walk to the bathroom and take your first piss. And you got really quiet. Um, and then I said, if I was to guess, the thing that bothers you most right now is brain fog. And he goes, what the F do you mean, dementia? I said, no, brain fog. You get a great idea in the bedroom. By the time you walk to the kitchen, you wonder what you're doing in the kitchen. And he took the phone off a of speaker phone shut his office door, and he just said, you can really tell all of that from that test? And I said, I sure can. And so he started on the supplement protocol and the treatment protocol for inflammation and the, and the aches and the pains that he was having. And he talks about this a lot. And in eight weeks, he was ache and pain free. He felt like he had the, he had the energy of 10 men. His cognitive function, short-term memory, he felt had improved. And if you've watched Grant Cardone over the last four years, he looks 15 years younger today than he did four years ago. Would you guys agree with that? Yeah, yeah so would I. I'm, and so this, this actually led to the acquisition. And now the, the former wellness enterprise that I had has become 10X Health. And our mission is to take this to the world. We're in the process of opening 1,000 centers across the country. And the trick that we learned in the wellness space was that the, the presence of oxygen is the absence of disease. Every single one of you in this room right now is on what we call a hypoxic curve. 
And if I find out where you are on that curve, I can tell you exactly how many more months you have left on Earth. But more importantly, if I find out where you are on that curve, we can extend your life on average about seven years. The major point that we discovered in the study of mortality was that disease and pathology and illness does not exist the way we believe it does in America today. The majority of disease that we face right now is not a disease that is happening to us. It is a lack of raw material in the human body. And if you would just go search for that missing raw material and replace it, disease and pathology would eviscerate. I can prove that. The next time you go to your physician, because most, most doctors right now in this country are treating patients for genetically inherited thyroid disease. Have you heard of that? Thyroid disease runs in families. They treat people for genetically inherited hypertension. Hypertension runs in families. Um, diabetes, depression, anxiety. These are, these are conditions that run in families, so we refer to them as genetically inherited diseases. The next time you're talking to a physician, ask them if they can tell you what gene carries any of those diseases. You see, we've mapped the entire human genome. We know every gene in the human body. So if this was a genetically inherited disease, then there would be a gene that causes it, but there's not. So if that gene doesn't exist, then it means that that condition has not exist. And most of you sitting here right now, believe it or not, you're probably functioning at about 65% of your total capacity. You have accepted such an erosion of your baseline sense of normalcy, and you don't even know it. You don't know how deeply you could sleep, how clean and clear your cognitive function could be, how strong your waking energy could be, how much your improvement in your response to exercise could be if you just knew what missing raw materials were missing from the human body. So our entire mission and our entire platform is to touch the face of humanity by replacing these raw materials in the masses and giving them a place where they can go and use our protocols to actually drive more oxygen into their cells and thrive in every aspect of optimal health. And we don't have time for it today, but I usually make a big bold promise that I will take any disease or pathology or ailment or physical question you have about the human body, and I will right there on that board tell you exactly what the missing raw material is in your body that's causing that condition. Everything from autoimmune to hypertension to thyroid to brain fog to weight gain to water retention to poor sleep to sore and achy joints to all sorts of conditions that we right now think are happening to us that are actually happening within us because we are depleting raw materials. It's astounding to me that 44% of this country is on an antidepressant. 44% of Americans are on an antidepressant right now, and we define depression as an inadequate supply of serotonin, saying that so if you are actually low on serotonin, then by definition you're depressed, you would think that we would just raise the level of serotonin. That's not what we do. We take people that are depressed, we put them on SSRIs, we keep serotonin low sometimes for decades, waiting for it to solve itself. And so if you just knew that serotonin was made in the gut and we could turn this factory back on and 90% of that hormone, 90% of that neurotransmitter is in the gut, travels up to the brain, then we could raise the level of serotonin by fixing the issues in the gut. If you're not healthy here, you're not healthy here. We spend so much time talking about uh, mental health and I think we should spend more time talking about mental wealth. And so combining with Grant Cardone and the, and the 10X team and the infrastructure that we have now is about spreading mental wealth across this country. Can you go to the next slide? This was just one of the mortality predictions I did. This is really, really boring. Let's go to the next slide. I want to talk to you a little bit. I just said that the presence of oxygen is the absence of disease. If I was to boil my entire 21-year career down to a single sentence, that would be it. I would actually write that down because that's the most prolific sentence you will hear for the balance of your lifetime in terms of how many more years you're left, you have left on this earth. If you do cold plunges, the reason why cold plunges are so good is because they increase the oxidative state of the brain, right? They release cold shock proteins. It's not the anti-inflammatory effect. That vasospasm forces oxygen into the core of the body and up to the brain and actually feeds your brain more oxygen than it gets at rest. So there are things that we do and, and modalities that we use that increase the oxidative state of your body. And I promise you, just like Pete Vargas and Grant Cardone and myself and Brandon Dawson and everyone else on the 10X team, if you start to use this superhuman protocol, you will have the exact same result. Because the most important thing that you have is going on right up here, right? Let's go to the next slide. <clears throat> 
So these are the four uh, pillars that we have designed to spread optimal health around the world. The genetic testing, this is the test that I just referred to with, with Grant. How many of you have actually gotten this test done? How many of you have had, if you have a positive testimonial, can you raise, keep your hand up? If you have a negative one, will you put your hand down? <laughs> just so I don't accidentally call on you. Yes, ma'am. Right back there, smiling right behind him. Or him. Oh. Her. Hey, oh, hey guys, it can be here. Um, Gary fixed my methylation, how long was that, Gary, a year ago? About a year ago. And after he did it, I cried like 30 times. And he, ugh, I'm gonna get choked up, but he changed my life. Thank you. And if you've never done it, it's as an entrepreneur and all the things that we battle on the daily, a lot of it can be changed by fixing your methylation. So I'm a huge believer for life. And once you have it done, you can feel your body when you're not in process. Yesterday, I started to feel out of it. So I just called 10X Health. They came to my hotel room, <laughs> got an IV, yeah. and I was like ready for the boat. But if you don't know what feeling optimal feels like, it's you got to get the test done. It's, it's going to change your life. Wow. Thank you. One more. <clears throat> um, so before I started working with Gary, if you would have asked me how I slept, I would have been like, sleep great. You know, sleep nine hours. Um, I, I don't know exactly what, what it was or what you fixed, but mm -hmm. through something that I took, I can tell you that I, I need like an hour and a half to two hours less sleep a night. And I naturally wake up at 5 a.m. every single morning, no alarm, haven't woken up to an alarm uh, in, in months, except for literally this morning, so Eastern time to Pacific time. And uh, I can get to work in like 10 minutes. Like I feel amazing when I get up. So when I asked you about that, one of the biggest things you said is like, your, your sleep is just so much more deep and efficient than it was previously. No question. Cause like you're not supposed to wake up really that tired, which I just right. thought, oh, you know, you're waking up, you're fucking tired. So it was By a huge way, just, thing for me. Just real quick, do you know the, the one factor that happens in deep sleep that doesn't happen any other time during the day or during your lifetime, doesn't happen during exercise, the one thing that's going on in deep sleep that is so restorative? It's called a secondary oxygen transfer. We pull all of the oxygen in. Remember, your brain is a non-metabolic organ. The harder it works, it doesn't get any more nutrients. It's very unlike a muscle. If you start working out a muscle, the body sends more blood and more oxygen and more protein to that muscle because it's working harder. That's not what happens with the brain. That's why you've had days where you reach the end of the day and your brain is tired. And you, you literally say, my brain's tired. I don't even feel like having a conversation. That's because it ate the same sandwich whether it was running a marathon or sleeping on the couch. It gets the same amount of nutrients. Only in delta wave sleep does the oxygen transfer from visceral tissue and muscle tissue to the brain so that it can repair and regenerate and revive, with the exception of the protocol that I'm about to tell you. You can mimic six hours of that oxygen transfer in 28 minutes. What if you could get six hours of delta sleep in 28 minutes. That's what the superhuman protocol does. Drives oxygen into a little known organelle inside the cell called the mitochondria, which is way more important than most of you in this room think. 110 trillion of these little powerhouses inside of every cell in the human body is where we get our energy source from. If you do not supply it the right nutrients, then your cell is deficient, which is why I say that most of us are operating at about 55 or 60% until we replace those nutrients. We use IV nutritional therapies to do this very quickly. Obviously doing IVs every day is not practical, but doing them semi-monthly or monthly is very practical. Things like NAD and vitamin drips and ozone therapy. These are incredible ways to hyperoxygenate the body and raise your metabolic state, right? Raise your state of optimal health. And, but the biologics and the superhuman protocol, can you go to the next slide? I wanna just quickly actually show you Grant's test I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but I'm going to walk you through what you can find out from this test. What's that? Oh, lawsuit? No, I have your permission. I did this at GrowthCon. So. <laughs> I might get sued for some of the other stories I could tell. Uh, so do you see those, those five rectangles right there? Those five colored rectangles? I, I, we're partners. Wouldn't it be like you suing your? Just, just so you know, just so you, I just get more shares in the company. So, uh. Just so you know, just so you know, this, that this, is very this, true. Actually, this is how this is why I play backgammon with with Brandon. So um, <laughs> just so you know, like you do this test one time. This test never changes. You never do it a second time. It is your it's your thumbprint. 
of your health. Like yours is different than mine. mine my, my daughters uh, have all done this. Theirs is different than, than mine is. And then he knows how to do whatever he does. Well, I was sitting at lunch with a couple but today. But either way, either way, like the oxygen, you know, when you talk about the oxygen and the electromagnetic, but you don't show images so I can see what, what the hell, like if I'm a viewer, I'm sitting back here, Gary, I'm telling Nelly, hey man, wh why didn't he show on? I've got, I've got the superhuman consume? protocol on the next slide. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. I actually should like, let you walk into this. How many of you this, think Mike? you'd be better off if you consume <laughs> 900 liters? 900 liters. This is a liter. Uh, what, no, this isn't a liter. This is what? That's a liter? Yep. If you consumed almost 1,000 liters of oxygen, almost pure oxygen every day, while you're riding your bike, how many think you'd be better off? Well, I do that every day. He does it every okay. day. Every single day. Wow. Wow. So... Like, I, I, there's and no it good takes, oxygen. what, about 10, 10, 10 minutes? If you guys that are traveling, man, you're being depleted by oxygen like every time you get on that plane. That is garbage oxygen. That's why you're, that's why you're so deprived when you get to the other side and you call it, you call it uh, jet lag. You ain't jet lag. You're oxygen deprived. Am I right, Gary? Yes, absolutely. There, is not a, there wasn't a single disease etiological pathway that we found in 22 years that did not have its roots in a lack of blood oxygen. Not one. Right, all cancer. And let me just say this, sorry, oxygen, Gary, but Gary, I would love to show that image at some point of yep. my blood, the blood you drew out of me. He drew a bag of blood out of me, and then had me get on oxygen and draw. And the next time we drew blood, like one time he drew blood out of me, bro. It was like it was mud. It was like cabernet. It was wine like color. It was it was having trouble Once. moving through the the uh, the little what the tube, the tube. I hit, I hit 900 liters of this oxygen, rode a bike. It wasn't a big deal. It's not like you're really stressing out like you see in the movies. I was just riding a bike on my Peloton. I consumed this oxygen. You can consume it in about 10 minutes, 10 or 11 minutes, the whole bag's gone. Like a bag's this tall all the way to the ground, that wide. Then they came over. I said, come over, pull my blood, okay? He pulls my blood. My blood was like a French Bordeaux. Okay, it was like a it was 82 like Ferrari Latura. red. Yeah. I mean, it was beautiful, man. It was like this liquid, right? Remember Elena seeing it? It was like this silicon oil, mm -hmm. like it was so thin. You could like see through it. Right here. But we need that image, Gary. I, we need I, to show I, I'll, I'll, that. I'll find those images of the blood and I'll show you them back to back. You always tell me you're going to do it, Gary. Well, you just asked me for the images Thank of you, your Gary. blood. I'm not going to go you, to a conference. Give Gary a big hand, guys. Give Gary a big hand. Also, I want to add one other thing, Gary. I know you hate when I interrupt you, okay, because he gets on a flow. I, this is your show. We, we introduced what Gary's doing right now. Somebody said a big conversions, 8%, 10%, 12%, 2% on this if we had 10 million people show up. The last time we did a growth conference and we offered this genetic test to, what, 2,200 people? 2,400 people? What do you think a good conversion would be? Yeah. How much is it? 600 bucks. You do it once in your lifetime. 7%? 30%? 11 1,100 people got the genetic test. Okay, now, now I'm telling you that to tell you this. This is a massive, number one, it's a great, it's needed. Okay? Number two, it is the biggest funnel on planet Earth is health. It's not pornography. It's health. <laughs> it's just pornography is available. And the health... And it works, and it's quick, okay? And health is slow, and it's hard to get, and it's hard to find, and it's not trusted. And COVID really destroyed a lot of people's trust in health. No doubt. And, and so what we're going to do, we're going to use this funnel because people that are interested, I mean, he, he, he's meeting people right now. If I mentioned 10 names right now in the last two weeks, you'd be like. The biggest stars in the world. Yeah. Like, th th this opens the door to everyone. Because if you're hurting, if you got pain in your joints like I did, in my knees, my ankles, uh, uh, I'm, start I'm starting to have trouble keeping my energy up, or all the other problems that people experience, right? The ADD stuff, the ADHD, the bipolar. Mm -hmm. I'm sure most of you in the room have been labeled something wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Except maybe your, the, the, you know, the food supply and the oxygen supply. So this is a massive funnel for us, okay? And it's one that's very, very sticky because people want to take care of themselves. 
Yeah, I mean, it just comes back to what we were just saying, the missing raw material in the human body. I'll just quickly just roll through these real quick. I was actually having lunch with a couple today, and I, I, I looked at their son's protocol, and I said, is your son a night owl? They said, yes. I said, does your son have mild gut issues? And they said, yes. And I went through a, a, a series of other things um, about their son. I know nothing about their son. Um, but I went through a series of other things that were very accurate, not because I knew anything about his medical history, but because based on those five colored rectangles, you can see exactly what the human body is deficient in. You see, when you start to pull raw materials out of the human body, you get what leads to disease. You don't actually have that disease. You have a deficiency that is leading to that condition. And I can go through dozens and dozens and dozens of those. I won't bore you guys to tears because um, we don't have the time and show you exactly what raw material is missing. But when you start here, this is the most common gene mutation in the world. I won't tell you what the nickname is for that gene mutation. I'm sure you can figure it out. Grant's one. Um, I'm also one, as a matter of fact. Any other motherfuckers in the room? Yeah. OK. It's the most common gene mutation in the world. It's the leading cause of postpartum depression. It's an inability to process folic acid. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but folic acid is the number one nutrient in the human diet. All of our grains, all white rice, white bread, white pasta, they are all sprayed with the chemical folic acid, which, by the way, folic acid is a man-made chemical. You've been taught to think that it's a natural vitamin. Folic acid doesn't occur anywhere naturally on the surface of the earth. Folate occurs on the surface of the earth. So this is your attention deficit disorders and hyperactivity disorders, right? It's not even an attention deficit disorder at all. It's an attention overload disorder. It's an inability to quiet the mind. The last thing we need with a racing mind is to put amphetamines into the body to race the central nervous system to match the pace of the mind. We should start to quiet the mind. Half of the entrepreneurs that I work with have that gene mutation. If you have that gene mutation right here, you think you have allergies, food allergies, but you don't. If you have this gene mutation, what's that? You're, you're pointing at something and I can't see it because oh, yeah, can't there, see it. that helps. Does that help? Okay. If you have that gene mutation right there, you believe that you have food allergies, but you don't. Right? I have people all the time tell me I'm allergic to wheat and soy and corn and dairy and blueberries and bananas. And I go, okay, slow down. Those are nine of the essential amino acids. You'd be dead. Right? You can't have those allergies. And, and essentially what it is, it means that your gut is not moving at the right speed. So when you eat, you associate gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, irritability, and cramping with what you just ate. But it has nothing to do with what you just ate. It has to do with the motility of the gut. If that gene is broken, your gut is broken. And it can be fixed. This gene above right here, this is the leading cause of idiopathic hypertension. It leads to hypertension, hypothyroid because you're not able to convert the most inflammatory compound in the human body into a simple amino acid. This is also a deficiency very often in the neurotransmitter serotonin and sometimes dopamine. We had a saying in the, in the mortality space that the absence of dopamine was the presence of addiction. The one thing addictive therapy never treats is the deficiency in dopamine because they don't look at the genetic deficiency in that neurotransmitter which drives behavior, which is why addiction has a tendency to shift and never really go away, right? And they can shift to a healthy addiction, a quote unquote healthy addiction, but addiction is driven by dopamine. You show me a child that can play video games for 12 or 14 hours a day, I will show you a future addict. Right, he's not playing that video game because he likes the video game, he's playing the video game because it makes him feel normal. And that's the way most addiction starts, the, the, the search for normalcy. And then when the, ad, the addiction develops, now they're running from a low, not running towards a high. And that can be addressed. And if you go to the top right here, this one, COMT, catechol o methyltransferase if you have that gene mutation, there's a virtual certainty that you've been either labeled OCD, ADD, or ADHD. Right? Because this is a mind that races. People that have that gene mutation will always say, you know, I work really well under pressure. Right? But when you say I work really well under pressure, what you're really saying is I lack the ability to set priorities myself. So I use external pressure to set my own priorities. But if you were supplemented properly, your mind would set priorities in the right order, right? You would be immune to external pressure and you would be setting your own priorities rather than waiting for external pressure to lean on you in order to change that. So there's so much information that we can get on on you from a single test that you do once in your lifetime, you will never guess again on what you need to supplement with. When I open people's supplement cabinets, it's just fraught with everything, CoQ10 and St. John's wort and curcumin and turmeric and all this stuff. And if you really start to ask people why they're taking 
these things, most of the time they don't know. Or they're taking it because a friend of them told them to take. They didn't actually ask their body what it needs, right? This is the resource that we need to go to. And let's go to the next slide. There we go. There's the superhuman protocol grant, see? I told you I had that slide in there. So these are the three stages of the superhuman protocol. All essentially that we've done is take everything from Mother Nature and brought it from the outside in. Every single one of our 10X health clinics across the country will have one of these protocols. If you can afford it, you should have one of these in your house. I have one, Grant has one, Brandon has one. That, that whole package is about 150 grand right there. Yeah, and that's, and that's why we're gonna put them in our center so people can afford it. But if you can afford that, this will change how many life. How many orders did we get this week for, the, for that? Five. Yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I have all those. I do it. And, yes. Uh, awesome. I'm just curious, like with the EWAT, have mm -hmm. you played around with uh, the adaptive, like altitude ones? And what's your thought about that? I, I haven't played out with the adaptive altitude ones because so this is different than altitude training. Altitude. Right. Yeah. But no, they're, they're instead of. One bag at you know 99% oxygen mm -hmm. or 95%. It's two bags. One's 95% oxygen. The other one's 13% oxygen. And you hold, you know, you like hold the trigger, and for 30 seconds your oxygen depleted, like you're breathing at like 13 or 14% oxygen. Then when you release the tab, then it shoots in the 99%. Yes, but you, you, you actually don't have to um, force red blood cell neogenesis. When you actually come off of this machine, the quick oxygen deprivation kicks the bone marrow right. into that neogenic state. So you actually get the benefits, not from going to altitude, but by breathing oxygen, and then you're mildly hypoxic for a few minutes afterward, and that floods the bloodstream with new red blood cells. There's an incredible clinical study that I'd be happy to share with you cool. on that. Uh, it was actually published by Dave Asprey's group. It's, that, that'll explain it in more detail. But this is just a, looks like a yoga mat. This is a PEMF mat. How many of you heard of a PEMF mat? Like a Beamer or a PEMI? How many of you use PEMF technology? It's amazing. Do you know what PEMF technology does? Just runs low Gauss current through the body. But what it does is it alkalizes all 32 trillion cells in your body. The alkalinity range for a human body is very, very small. It's about four tenths of a point. But inside that four tenths of a point is where most pathology and disease exists. So if we can keep you alkaline, we can keep you rid of disease. But if you are alkaline, all your red blood cells separate so they can accept more oxygen. You lay on that for eight minutes a day, you will alkalize all 32 trillion cells in your body. And then like Grant said, this is just a bag that fills from an oxygen concentrator with 900 liters of oxygen. In 10 minutes, you can breathe 900 liters of oxygen down, flood the bloodstream, with about 95% O2, the air we're breathing right now is around 21%. And then you lay in a red light therapy bed, which will actually force that oxygen into the mitochondria. And I'll tell you a little secret about the mitochondria. Inside of this powerhouse of the cell, there's a motor. It's called the Krebs cycle, right? It's spinning around. Every time this motor makes one revolution, it has two choices. It can either create two units of energy or it can create 32 units of energy. Any doctors in here, am I right? Right, 32 ATP versus two ATP. You know what's the difference between 32 trillion cells in your body having 16 times more energy or 16 times less energy? The presence of oxygen. The presence of oxygen. If oxygen enters that cell, you have a 16-fold step up in energy times 32 trillion cells. That is a biophysiologic fact. Now you've given your cell the resource to eliminate waste, repair, detoxify, and regenerate. You feel like you are plugged into a light socket and all you've done is fed your body oxygen. All right, let's go to the last one. I do it every day. When I got here, I've, I've done six cities in the last six days. If, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been six cities in six days. I spoke last night um, to almost 33,000 people at the shop.com Market America event. I got up at 4.30 this morning, took a 6.50 flight, came here. The first thing I did when I got home was I ran myself through Superhuman. I'm still on fire from it right now. Um, Why does the circular bed for the red light mm -hmm. work better than a panel? Because a panel's only a single side, right? And a panel also doesn't have the power. That's 125 milliwatts of a radiance more powerful than anything on the market. When Grant went on the search for the red light bed that he was gonna put his name on, 
We found all kinds of red light beds, the ones that were one-sided, ones that were two-sided and weak. We did light meter testing on them. We did spectrum testing on them to make sure that that light was penetrating through the skin. The nearest bed on the market has about 15,000 light diodes. That has 45,000. 45,000 diodes of light just driving oxygen. I have cell. never got in that bed. Never. Now, I've been using the bed for, I don't know, a year and a half maybe. Never got in that bed and not fallen asleep. Oh, yeah, you feel Good sleep. Amazing. Like, feeling like I get three and four hours of sleep. Number two, I am convinced, and I tell Elena, I am convinced that this thing does something to your skin. And I'm not it sure does. what it does. I don't, I don't know all this stuff that Gary knows, this blah, blah, this bullshit. I, <laughs> I'm like, this is the best bullshit motherfucker in the yeah, world. He's hammering me. Like, today. if I had his bullshit, I'd be t worth 10 billion. <laughs> uh, because all this sounds like, but you know what? I can't, I know it does something to my skin. I know it does. Like I can tell that it gives you a glow or something. And I don't know, why would it do that? Why would it affect the skin? Because it affects collagen, elastin, and fibrin. It stimulates collagen, elastin, and fibrin. Anytime you put more blood flow to the surface of the skin, you stimulate those three conditions, right? So you will take on a more youthful appearance. Go back on his Instagram four years ago and look what he looked like versus today. That's a lot of red light. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, so I'm just looking at this and like to me some that you know like you know like fucking liver king and all these guys out there all the natural mm -hmm. remedies and stuff mm -hmm. well you get like Wim Hof you know, I'd love to like, see liver king's blood I'd love to pull his blood <laughs> I would like, I'd like I to see that too I got some suspicions but yeah um, <laughs> but like for like oxygen like you like Wim Hof method you know mm -hmm. breathing in hyper oxygenating you know your blood cells you know, doing doing his treatments every morning or whatever he says, and then, you know, some people say go outside and um, what do you call it? Uh, ground yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Be outside in the sunlight yes. for a certain amount of time. So I'm assuming this is the same principle, just speeding it up, being able to do it yes. indoors. Yes, if you were getting an hour and a half of barefooted contact on the surface of the earth, um, you know, walking two to three miles and respiring every day, and getting 20 minutes of sunlight in the with with just board shorts on on both sides of your body every day, 20 to 40 minutes of sunlight, you would mimic this very same protocol but well, you can do what it in time in the morning minutes. would you have to get up though gary because the, four o'clock to be done by no no, no what time what what's that sunlight in the morning that's the perfect oh the fir first light it's the yeah. first 45 minutes of the day there's Wait, no and UVA if you live in utah rays. and it's january you ain't getting it yeah. Yeah. so like you're not going to get that like i can get this wherever i'm at i'm in malibu or i'm in Go golden beach wherever i'm gonna boom pop in there i got my 20 minutes mm -hmm. i'm telling you if you've ever had jet lag i had jet lag this morning um, I mean, I barely slept last night um, in, in Greensboro. I had jet lag this morning. I got out of that bed, and I felt like I'd had eight hours of deep sleep. It will mimic six hours of delta sleep. Delta wave sleep is when that oxygen transfer happens. Yeah. So you said it's, it's 600 bucks for the test, but it's 150 lifetime. Yeah, it's 600 bucks for that test. You can go to the last slide. I mean, if you don't do anything else while you're here today, you just click on that and spend the 600 bucks and find out what's gone wrong in your body. You don't have to buy the superhuman protocol. I'm showing you what's going to be in every single one of our centers. If you can afford it, I would put this in your house. Um, so that's my question. So it's 600 bucks for the test, and then shows you when you're going to die. You don't want to die then, so you spend. <laughs> so you, I'm just cutting this chase. So, so you spend 150 grand. You put that shit in your house. You do it every day, and you look like Grant when you're 60. I get the thing. But what if I want? to take the 150 grand and open one of your 10X health centers oh, in my city. We're... Fuck all that other bullshit. Now that's, why, that. that's why we're showing you this. Now you said we want a talking. thousand centers in the US. I want the that's same people. Really I take my same people location. Yeah. <laughs> we're, um, so see Natalie yes. um, Dawson in the back, the beautiful blonde with the hand up back there. Say it again, Natalie. We're, we're approved in 48 states right now. To roll this out so this is going to take a second but these are the kind of things we brought gary up here number one to talk to you about your health because you deserve to know the truth those white coats out there are not going to give you the truth they're going to keep feeding you the big pharma pill for every eel bro and another pill for that you know to keep you on that one so so like the fda if you guys don't think the fda and big pharma are in bed together then you're just a naive individual like you got to know, there, there, it's a play. Yeah, we'd much rather have you as a franchise partner. You can barely we're, find we're, it. Yeah. yeah so okay. that's what so, we want to do. We want to spread this across the planet. Uh, what did your business make the first month we were involved with you? Two hundred and fifty grand. 
And then? Uh, well, now, last month we did about 2.5 million. Okay. Last month. So we had exactly 10x them. Kind so, of, so kind of the narrative, and I didn't mean to do that. Um, and we'll probably yeah. do four, four this month. So we're going to roll this thing out. So he's already, here's another example. We brought Gary up for a couple reasons to talk to you about what's important for you. Number one's your health and your family's health and your kids' health, right? Uh, I know I'm a better husband when I'm not hurting all the time. When I have physical problems, man, I, you guys in the room, men cannot handle any level of pain. <laughs> Women can handle 10 <laughs> times the pain. When, when we have one ache, we're like, we're like, oh, my God, I feel like I'm having a baby. Yeah, and my ankle awesome. hurts, right? Yeah, I mean, so we're just bitches. Uh, yeah. Number two, we're looking for partners to, 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 to spread. I can't, I can't do 1,000 centers. I can't be in St. Pete. Dana White in the UFC. You know, I mean, we could probably have just in Miami, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Miami Beach, uh, uh, South Beach. Like, you, you could probably have 20 centers in this one city. People come here to look good. My wife was at Aria the other night in Las Vegas, and this guy's delivering $17,000. When you guys think your offers are too expensive, this guy's delivering a $17,000 mask. <laughs> and she wants one. Mask? Uh, uh, fa uh, uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, stem cell mask. Thought you meant. Blah, blah, blah. So we want, just guys, think about some of the things we're doing here. You're going to see more of this stuff happening. You're going to see this 10X brand continue to pop up in different spaces on TV, in your local market at, um, it, it, as a health center. Okay? You're going to hear people start buzzing this word 10X. It is associated with health, wealth, expansion, connection, people coming together that don't look alike, that finally come together, quit talking about it and start doing it. You know, maybe even in the political arena where people start th saying, hey, why don't we 10X America? Rather than make America great again, we'll just 10X the whole goddamn country. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps foreshadowing this political run. I, I'm <laughs> um. So in any case, guys, that's the genetic test. I mean, that's just a must-do. You, you, you take that test. We'll tell you exactly what your body's deficient in. If you're interested in talking to me about any of the other things that we brought up, please just grab me at the break. I, um, it's 100,000 per quarter million population. So that we'll pull a radius and tell you exactly what median income, traffic patterns, recreational profile, competition. It depends on what the, the quarter, how far it has to go out for a quarter of a million population and then would you would buy into that additional radius brandon's put together a, a a business model that allows us to be very very fair i mean obviously if you bought midtown manhattan it would be different than buying north dakota right so see it at the break i'll even give you the pro formas and everything yes sir so my wife has um an autoimmune disease and mm -hmm. i told her about you she's been watching you and she's like I've gone to every doctor. I've gone to everything you can imagine. We probably spent $200,000 on my wife's autoimmune disease just mm. to have babies, mm. right? Mm. Took us six years to get pregnant because of, of uh, I don't know if it's hyper or hypo. I'm not as intelligent as mm -hmm. you. I apologize. This can fix, adjust, cure. What is the word for I that? mean, depending on the autoimmune condition, I mean, most autoimmune diseases are actually a progressive weakening ha of Hashimoto. the immune system. Hashimoto. Well, Hashimoto. So, I mean, just, red light. yeah. Red light. Red light. Seriously? He is absolutely right. Red light therapy and Hashimoto's. I mean, if you hit me on Instagram, I will send you hordes of clinical research on photobiomodulation, what you just saw right there, and Hashimoto's. Just remember this. The thyroid produces two hormones, right? T4 and T3. We diagnose most hypothyroid because T3 is low, but the thyroid only produces 20% of that hormone. Okay. So why tree, are we holding tree, the thyroid responsible for crimes that's not What committed? about tree nut allergies? That's, I, I, I'm like hospital in seven minutes if I touch a tree nut. I would, I, well, there are true allergies like bee stings. There are true gluten allergies, true celiac allergies. So there are some true allergies, but most of us believe that we're walking around with allergies that we actually don't have, right? Because we, we equate foods that we eat to, to symptoms that we have. That's why if you ask most people, oh, if you're allergic to corn, can you ever eat corn and not have a reaction? They'll say, yes, okay, you're not allergic to corn. Allergies are not transient, they're consistent. Right? Okay, and then uh, finally, can we dominate the Scottsdale market before the Dawsons do? <laughs> Dude, another one of the Dawsons. I thought I just saw Brandon walk in. You can absolutely dominate them. We've got a 25,000 square foot facility there it's now. An, it's another, you see, like Lifetime. Lifetime's got three locations in Scottsdale by itself, right? So 
You know, Lifetime, the, the gym, right? So, what's wrong? So funny. Oh, uh, uh, shit. Hey, if you're going to do it, man, I, that's why I say I can't, I can't say something without showing you. See? It's got, it's got signs. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So, so um, yeah, so, so like, it, that, that market, that market, like, who knows how Mesa, Tempe, Phoenix, like South Phoenix, North Phoenix, East Phoenix. Well, like uh, there's so many people, man, like everybody's concerned about their bodies. Just go tonight when you go home, when next time you're with your parents or grandparents, open up their medicine cabinet. They don't even know what they're taking. America, America consumes more prescription drugs than every other country combined. Okay. We're also the number one spender on health care and they're ranked 52nd in the world. But we're the number one spender. Yes, sir. What about lupus and diabetes? So type 2 diabetes begins in a hypoxic environment. Type 2 diabetes can, well, we, we, we see it reverse all the time, mm -hmm. right? Using ketogenic diets and C, uh, C60 fish oils and, and, and helping the pancreas repair itself, right? Helping it get back to a state where it's working optimally. Am I out of time? Anytime, anytime Pete starts walking to you like that, he's about to give you the Russian, the Russian sickle. Um, and lupus is another one of those progressive autoimmune weakening di disorders. You know, we, 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 I believe that aging is the aggressive pursuit of comfort, right? We got to stop telling grandma not to go outside, it's too cold, not to go outside, it's too hot, just to lay down, just to relax, to eat at the first pang of hunger. Human beings are strengthened by stress. If you don't load a bone, it will not strengthen. If you don't tear a muscle, it won't grow. If you don't challenge the immune system, it weakens. Right? One of the worst things we did was stop challenging the immune system during a pandemic. That's just a physiologic fact, right? You're about to see the second wave because of a progressive weakening of the immune system. We locked human beings up and took them out of contact with other human beings. And, and you, I can see it on people's blood work. Their immune system just absolutely tanked. All right? So if you've got other questions, see me at the break. I'm going to be around for a while. I really appreciate you guys' time, man. Thank hey, you so much. Hey, give it up for, for Gary Brown.